What's another name for Black Panther's police force? Claw enforcement. Hey, thanks for checking out Cover By today. On behalf of Cookie from Just a Little Podcast, Comics for Thomas, and myself, we're very happy that you're here. I've left links to the YouTube channels for my co-hosts in the description to this video, so if you're not subbed to them yet, make sure you do sub them up. There's a new hit Black Panther movie in theaters now, dominated the box office, and today, Marvel Legends Black Panther number 3 is the book that we're going to feature. Here's the A and the B covers. We're going to choose between these two. One's going to win and the other we're going to say buy to. That's how we do cover buy. Let's get started with first thought comments on this book. And here's Comics for Thomas. So we're looking at Black Panther Legends, Volume 1, Number 3. This I've, I actually haven't uh, heard of this, uh, this run either. Um, this is in, it's an okay cover. I don't mind it. I actually like more about what's going on in the background than I do um, the the two main characters here, the actual Panther and uh, and whoever that is at the bottom there. Um, I like the the stonework in the background with the with the two Wakandans and in, in just if you look down, get my mix up here on the screen, but and you can see a little bit of a, a stonework of an actual cat um, as well. So. It's there's a nice color scheme here. I like how the per, there's just a, a little bit of purple in the bottom, and it just kind of makes its way up into the panther, but just a little bit, like just past the legs, and then it kind of stops, and then you have the sun at the top. And yeah, that's it. So now we're taking a look at cover B. Um, I like this cover. Um, I don't know about the actual character that's jumping up. I'm not a huge fan of how that's drawn or not necessarily how it's drawn because it, it's not drawn bad um i think it kind of takes away from this giant black panther um which i really really enjoy um i think if you take out that character that's that's um going towards him i think this would be a pretty neat character except for the actual lettering for legends would take away from it all i don't like it almost looks like it, it makes it look like it's a kid's book um not that not that comic books are not a kid's book um, but get, get rid of the legends, get rid of the Marvel, and I'm not talking about a, a Virgin variant here. Keep the Black Panther lettering, and I'm fine with the number three um, and variant edition up in the corner because it, it's like a, it goes, still goes with the color scheme for the most part, or what we're, we're trying to happen here. Um, but yeah, get rid of that whoever that character is, um, and then just keep this giant, awesome looking Black Panther. Love the, the kind of cape coming out as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's almost a hit. Just a minute. Thanks, Thomas. Standing by now with First Thought Comments is Cookie from Just a Little Podcast. What's going on? We're back at it again for another cover by. This one's going to be uh, Black Panther Legends, issue number three, volume number one. Um, so in this one, we have cover A. Cover A has a lot of detail. We have these two statues above with Wakanda symbol. Uh, Wakanda Forever, by the way. Beautiful movie. Not going to go into details on that, but just really, really cool. Um, seeing those two statues up there and then we have T'Challa and we have a Black Panther both of them kind of in this attack or defense mode fighting one another which I really dig I love the details on T'Challa's face and the same thing with uh, the Panther's teeth kind of like gleaming out I love the ma uh, muscle atrophy on both of them like the arms is really good the stance is really cool as well and in this right corner we have this like stone that also looks like a, a, a Panther as well so I like that as well I like the color scheme I'm not really crazy about the Marvel's Legends of Black Panther at the top. I don't really care for the Legends part of it. It kind of just seems out of place for me. But I really do like how everything is really structured together. It's a really cool cover. I'm digging it. On to the other cover where we have cover B. We have Tatala and we have the Black Panther suit. And I'm liking this one as well. I think this is really cool. I love the fact that we have the beads on his hand. Same as cover A. But I love that there's like a half mask on him. Um, I, I dig that. I dig the Black Panther um, way that they've kind of drawn him out and how he's kind of in there. They're fighting each other. It's almost like he's fighting within. So I'm liking this cover as well. Same concept with the title block. I'm not really crazy about the title block and where it sits. Um, 
both of these covers are not great covers in my opinion they're okay it seems like this might be more tailored towards a younger audience i could be wrong though um but this one's yeah kind of interesting on how this one's uh set up the cover b i don't really care for the backdrop and how the detail is kind of giving you this african-esque feel i'm not too crazy about it but yeah those are your cover a and cover b thanks cookie i haven't seen the new black panther movie yet myself but i'm looking forward to it just about every one of my friends had positive things to say about the movie, so I'm anxious to check it out. Earlier this year, Marvel released a four-issue miniseries, Marvel Legends Black Panther. This is issue number three. I haven't read the series, but from what I understand, it takes place during T'Challa's youth. He's been imprisoned by his adoptive brother, Hunter. Looking at the A cover, now I'm not sure if this is Hunter or if this is the young T'Challa on the cover, but I do like the fact that there is a literal Black Panther imposing itself against our main character on the cover. I mean, I see the metaphors to that. I love uh, Wakanda in the background. That definitely interests me. Uh, I love the scenery. The uh, coloring shows really good light in it as, as terms of setting of what time of day it is. And uh, I also like the fact that they use some, some purples there below on the bottom. I think it looks really good. But this character, regardless if it's the young T'Challa or if it's Hunter, let me know in the comment section below too if you know, um, definitely is standing the ground against this Black Panther, and I like it. Now looking over at the B cover, I mean, this is a metaphoric cover as well. It's almost a David versus Goliath theme. And I like the fact that we've got our younger character really just ready to take on the big menacing T'Challa-like Black Panther character, if that is T'Challa, inside the Black Panther costume. I like that. The psychedelic background, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it or not. But at the same time, too, it's probably better than if they just would have done a solid background color, too. That would have been kind of boring. At least this does leap off a little bit. Um, to me, I think if I was walking by a shelf, both of these covers are ones that I'd stop and take a second look at. And as much as I don't think that I'm crazy about the psychedelic background, I mean, it does draw attention to the cover, which is what a cover is supposed to do. That's its job. I like how T'Challa is really drawn on this cover, too. Or at least Black Panther, I should say, because I don't know if it's T'Challa inside. I like how he's drawn on this cover. So I think there's some really good covers here to choose from. And I don't know to be very honest with you, which one I'm going to pick yet. Luckily, I have a few minutes to decide because I'm going to bring the rest of our panel back first and let them make their choices, starting with Comics for Thomas. So I think it's this one's pretty obvious to tell. I'm going with cover B. I just like more what's going on. Um, a couple things I would change personally if I was to buy the cover, but that's the cover that I would, I would stop and go, do I buy this? You know, how much do I like it? I don't think in the end I do buy it because of what I don't like with the cover, if I'm being like picky. Um, but definitely better than, than cover A. So cover B all the way on this one. Cover B, you've gotten one vote thanks to Comics for Thomas. Now here's Cookie from Just a Little Podcast with his pick. All right. So for me, this was a pretty easy pick. I'm going to go with cover A. Uh, I actually like the more detail in this one. And I like the fact that you had them kind of facing off in this way. Cover B was interesting. But I wasn't too crazy about it. I just it didn't appeal to me as much. If I saw these two out on the wall, I'd probably go and pick up cover A over cover B. And it seems more intriguing to know what's going on in cover A rather than cover B. So that's it for me. Well, look at that. It's tied. One vote for A and one vote for B. Wow. So I'm gonna be the tiebreaker. This has been difficult for me to figure out which one I'm gonna choose because there's things about each one that I do like. But ultimately, I'm going to go with cover A as my pick. And the reason that I'm doing that is I really like the Wakanda background, and I like the purple and the coloring on the ground, and that you can tell what time of day it is. Um, you know, the literal Black Panther imposing itself. It's the same things that I said during my first thought comments. I think if B didn't have that psychedelic background, it might have had a... Oh, I don't know. I did consider B for a while, though. But no, it's A in the end. A is my pick, and overall, A ends up the winner today on Cover By. Is it the one you would have picked? It's time for you to leave your comments below. Your comments are welcomed, encouraged, and appreciated. 
By the way, I have a contest going on where I'm giving away the comic book that I wrote, Female Force Loretta Lynn. See my November 1st, 2022 video to get all of the details and to enter. It's a pretty simple contest to enter as well. November 26th, 2022 is the cutoff, so make sure you get in on that for a chance to win. That brings us to the end of today's cover buy. Once again, subscribe to our entire panel uh, and my channel if you haven't already. It certainly is appreciated. Not only does it bring us to the end of today's cover buy video, it's going to bring us to the end of cover buy for this year. We're going to take a little rest for the holidays. I think that we've earned it. So thank you for all of your support. And on behalf of Cookie from Just a Little Podcast and Comics for Thomas, we wish you a happy and healthy holiday season. And we will catch you with another cover buy video in the future. Take care.